my god, here we are with another episode of GHK, and we're basically at the door to Hall of Glory, about fucking die, there's just this, and finale, just all the glory and finale to go, and we're out of 2K22, finally, oh my god. For that reason, this is going to be a shorter episode of GHK once again, but it's got some good matches nonetheless. We got Kamau, one of the trio's champions. We got the epitome of hardcore Alan Bannon, and we got Kevin Constantine here. Triple Fred action. Oh, Kevin going there, but look at that. Kamau just shoving Kevin aside. Nice work here. Oh, good work there by the epitome of hardcore. Going in now. Boom. Nice, nice, nice. Going in with those punches. Oh, that slap. That's just disrespectful, but Kamau, again, just shoving everyone away. Oh, he's got no time for him. There's the flatliner from Allen. And now, oh, look at this, look at this. Growling hold. But Allen with the dodge. And DDT. Okay. Kevin now, look at this, going for the arm. Oof. Now, I'm not sure who to go for in this one. My two big choices, of course, are Alan and Kamau. Kamau, of course, has been doing brilliantly in Disco Fever. But then you've got Alan Bannon, the epitome of hardcore. Oh, fucking hell, Kevin. Of course, Kevin is in the best shape of his career. I've got to give him some credit for that. Oh, fucking hell. Neck won't beat off if he gets too many shots like that. Yeah, and the constant teams have been steadily increasing in, like, you know, how prominent they are. So, you know, anything's possible. Oh, there's that knee drop from Kamau. Kamau is big and he knows how to, you know, move effectively in order to, you know, overwhelm opponents. So, you got to believe Kamau is going to leave a mark here. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, Kevin! Rushed over, but Kamau got the better of him, honestly. Oof! Island with the kendo, and Kamal just denying right there. Up and down. Right now, these two are fucking struggling against Kamal. Like, he is making them look like big old jabronis. Oof. Nice shot there. Kamal now, Irish whip, sending Kevin up and over. Getting a hold of Allen. And, oh, uppercut. Going for the pin. One. Only a one count. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. Allen's back up. But caught by Kamau. And Snake Eyes. Oh. Driving down. And now look at this. Grabbing a hold. Squeezing down on the head. Nice work there by Kamau. Oh into the turnbuckles and everything he's being bloody ruthless fucking hell Kamau has absolutely fucking annihilated these two there's the steel chair oh ho, ho. and a moonsault now they're starting to really get that momentum in order about time look at this Alan with that combo. Grabbing a hold of Kevin now. But Kevin escaping with those elbows. Grabbing a hold of Alan. Suplex. Nice work. Alright, look at this. Grabbing a hold of Kam Oh, Kamal grabbing a hold of Kevin. Oh. No table setup, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. But again, Kamal seems to be back in the driver's seat in this triple threat. Snake Eyes, good work there. Grab that steel chair now. And crack over the skull. Yeah, behind the scenes, everyone's getting ready for Hall of Glory and for Finale and for the trip over to 2K24. So expect to see that big marathon event, but hopefully by the end of the month. Look at this, Kamal, grabbing old Allen, taking him into the corner. Baseball bat in hand, though. Kevin ready to fucking go for a home run. Oh. Oh, my God. Look at him go. He's been come out of death. Oh, there's Kamal to take down. And now, look at this, Kevin. 
Being caught here by Kamau. Up and down. And now, oh, nice shot there. Allen off the ropes with that springboard forearm. Pretty damn nice if you ask me. And now, look at that. Taking Kevin into the ropes here. Anything big planned here, Allen? Oh, no. Look at that. Look at that. Restraining him. So he can't go anywhere. Is he Kevin trying to cling on that Constantine strength, keeping him going? But there's that kick to knock him flying out. I think that Kent Lusick jabbed him in the eye there. The amount of wrestlers that have been nearly blinded. It's a bit mental, to be honest with you. Oh, Alan is in. He's in the zone right now. He's been absolutely, you know, dominating. Honestly, like it's kind of like the, the all like those two have been like Alan and Kamal have really been fucking showing themselves. Honestly. All right, Kevin's got a ladder though. Is that going to be the thing to turn it around for Kevin? Come out, big chops all over that. Back and forth now. Here we go, here we go. Meanwhile, Kevin's pacing around like he doesn't know what to do with himself. Here we go. <gasps> Blue Thunderbomb onto the ladder. Oh, that's a way to switch a match in your favour. Although now you've got to deal with Kamal. Oh, nice work here. Kevin does have the speed advantage. That's his, probably his biggest way that he's going to try and bounce this back here. Oh, springboard. Nice work there. Pinfall one. Only a one count. Not even fucking close to being over. Nice shot there. Oh, Kevin with the DDT. And now bringing him out to his feet here. Oh, come out immediately escaping and reversing. Not even giving him up. Oh, he fucked it. He come out, absolutely fucked it there. Oh, but look at this. Kevin getting beaten up by Allen. Oh, Allen showing how you do a clothesline. And now come out. Got to deal with Allen Bannon again. Oh, nice catch there. Oh, no. The ladder. Oh, the ladder popped out of the way there. That's bloody lucky for Alan. Oh, look at this. Oh, try to clip the ladder with that slam. And now one, two. Oh, there's the kick out. Kamau hanging in there. Of course, we'll be seeing the trio's champions at Hall of Glory. Oh, look at this, Alan Bannon. Boom! Rainmaker clothesline, going for the pin. Kevin breaks it up though. And Allen, look at this, giving him a beat down. But Kevin's back, and look at that. Giving himself an opening. Come on, Kevin. I'm in a better mood than usual, because all the glory's up, and we're getting closer to 2K24 for, v for the VGW channel. So, you know, I'm not going to be as snarky as usual. Oh, fucking hell, he caught him. Kevin, this is your opportunity here. This might be the only opportunity you're getting. There's that scoop slam. Slammed him like it was Hogan versus Andre. He's going for a pin. This isn't actually Hogan versus Andre. Oh, my God. Oh, fucking hell. 2.9. I'm actually a little bit shocked, to be quite honest with you. Oh, right in the midsection there. Irish whip. Into the corner, Kamau. Look at this. Oh, no. Kevin, you got to get out of the way. Bronco Buster. Oh, that's... He is fucked after that one. Pinfall. One. Two. And they're breaking up at two. Otherwise, that could have ended very badly. Nice arm drag, though, from Kamau. No doubt he's going to try and want to put this away before Kevin recovers. Fucking hell, Kevin. You recovered quickly. I know you're a constant team, but Jesus... Oh, Kevin, saying bring it on and come out. Fucking hell. Short arm clothesline there. And you can see that <laughs> Kevin's going to fucking regret that. No, he's getting back up. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, fucking hell. The neck got really cranked with that one. And Alan just had his head kicked off. But Kevin's back up again. And again. Look at that. Taunting Kamau. 
Zuckamau with that release. Tiger suplex or butterfly suplex. I think the Tiger one is back, is around the back. Right, look at this now. Neck breaker. Allen's recovering on the outside, so if Kamau wants to put this away, he's going to have to target, tag, blah, 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 target Kevin. And now Kevin still keeps getting back up, and that's got to be flummoxing old Kamau there. Because the scenes are pretty much, you know, they may not be the smartest, but they are certainly damn tough. They're some of the toughest in GHK. So, oh, someone like Kevin may not be the, may not be a main event, but he's like a fucking cockroach in the ring. Two, and there's the kick out. Allen's been barricaded by the ladder. Oh no, he's back in. Meanwhile, Kevin. Five star front. Oh, he got absolutely cock blocked there. Nice work there by Allen, busting open Kamau. And now, nice knee strike. Oh man, back and forth. Oh, oh. Allen bamboozled Kamau. And. Alan sent it to the chair. I mean, this is the first time we've seen it. That chair in the corner actually be used in 2K22. Oh, the Constantine special. Oh, oh fuck! He took the the referee out. What is this? The fucking annual ref abuse that we usually see in these games. Oh my god! Kevin's going for the pin, but the referee's out. Oh, wait a minute. One, two. Oh. That's what you get for beating up the referee. Every game, I swear, the referee gets absolutely abused. Oh, my God. The referee got the full Constantine special there. And now... Oh, nice goop slam there. Kevin going up to the middle rope. Calling Alan Bannon to his feet here. DDT! Busting Alan open! And now Kamal's been barricaded by that ladder and now Kevin looking to put away oh pinfall pinfall oh my god one two three <laughs> what Kevin won oh my god it's two, the end of 2k22 and really anything's fucking happening now I can't believe it Kevin Constantine won Bloody hell, we really are seeing all kinds of stuff happening now. That is... You know, I, do, I like that route wrestling. I like when things just go any which way, but... At the same time, I'm glad I don't gamble, because I would be absolutely... Like, I would... I would be out of money in a heartbeat. Oh, my God. Well, there we go. Congrats to Kevin on that win there. Maybe the start of some upward trajectory for him. I mean, a bit late, so he's going to have to maybe wait till 2K24 if he wants a world title shot. Oh, man. I wish the music producer was here, but they're, like, out going a Hall of Glory. Oh, yeah, main event time. Uh, Magnum Dressing Man, Mad Boar, and Twister. No title on the line here. Joseph... Um, I believe Joseph's still hardcore champion. He is going, if he is, he's going into Hall of Glory as the champion. This is just for fun, really, as we take see Mad Boar and Twister in the ring. Oh, look at Joseph go here. Joseph has had a bloody whale of a time, honestly. He actually managed to beat Mammoth and Ace in a pretty damn good match. So, you got to think Mad Boar going to want to try and redeem for the beast of bedlam meanwhile twister of course wanting to get that first important we want to get not that first important win jesus i don't want to undersell twister that much but twister wants to get that big win to help you know his career up on that upward trajectory similar to kevin oh look at this nice shot there oh good work here going for that axe kick boom to the back of the head and twister looking ready here Irish whip against over the ropes. And now it's down to the two small fucks. Look at this. Boom with the knee strike. Boom with the knee strike. Down goes Twister. And now Magnum Joseph Mann going for a cross face here. Joseph Mann has some of the best super kicks in the business. Like, oh, Jesus. Okay, this is just the episode where the referee gets absolutely battered. Apparently. 
Oh my god. We, we are, this is why we don't retain referees for long, because they just get absolutely mugged. I still remember when Theodore Cornwall, the owner of GHK, slammed an extinguisher in the back of one GHK referee's head. We ain't seen him since. Oh my god. Look at those kits though. Joseph has really perfected. Like I say about the super kicks, it's not like some Liar Park situation where the super kick is the big kick for Liar Park. Like, you know, with Joseph Mann. Joseph has just got some of the best kicks I've ever seen. Like, up there with the Nightmare, I feel. Like, the Nightmare has the killer kick. Like, if we're talking about, like, most powerful kick versus most powerful kick, I think Nightmare would edge it out. But if we're talking about overall, like, kicking ability, Joseph may have a good argument. Every stomp, every kick of his is just filled with so much spite. Doesn't have so much in the fucking forearm power, apparently, given he just sailed right over Twister. But every time he stomps, every time he kicks, you can see it levels not only wrestlers of his own size, but wrestlers like Mad Boar, who are like double his size. It absolutely levels them. And so that means that when they, you know, when he gets in control, he can absolutely knock wrestlers out. That super kick's just the icing on, the to on top, really. Nice work there. And now, oh, fucking hell, he was quick. I was thinking a mad ball was about to come in with that sledgehammer and really swing this match back around. Still mad ball. He's a simple man. He don't need weapons when he's got them big old fists. He's a grappler and he's a brawler through and through. So even without the weapons, he's still a threat. There's that, there's that snake eyes. Oh, nice, nice. Boom! Oh, but Joseph dodging the elbow draw. And now Irish Whip into the corner. Oh, down hold the twister. Into the corner. I think I see where this is going. Oh, Joseph, you, you, he is learning so quickly. Like, I can tell you this. I did not expect... Like, like I don't think anyone expected Joseph to rock it up like he's been doing. But he's been handling himself surprisingly well. And now, look at this, Irish Whip, over the ropes. Going after Mad Ball now. Holy, oh my god! Oh, he's looking to fucking end this already, isn't he? Look at this. Boom, with that knee drop. In comes Twister. And Twister now is going to try and bounce things back by throwing Joseph out. He's not even going to try and bother. Oh my god, Twister, you sneaky devil. Look at this. Oh my god, he's he's full of these stolen it hasn't he oh no mad ball kicks out nice work there with the handstand there we go there's not much to flex there twister oh 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 that is okay that's taking the mickey there oh 360 code breaker now 360 does fuck and all but I mean, if it does well for Judas, Judas in my mind, Chris Jericho, Lionheart, Painmaker, uh, Save Us Y2J, uh, hated Jack Swagger's gimmick, Chris Jericho, uh, probably thinks COVID is hope, Chris Jericho, then, I mean, it could work for everyone else. Oh, boom! There we go. One, two... Oh, there's the kick out. And look at this. Oh, there's the knee drop. And now look at this. Boom in the face. Boom in the face. Boom in the face. And springboard moonsault. Beating the shit out of Mad Boar. Mad Boar with that leg screw, though. And now going to stop on the arm. Oh, nice work. And again. Boom. And a third time? Okay, Mad Ball, that's getting a bit much now. That's getting a bit much now. You, I, I, listen, don't break his arm before Hall of Glory, for fuck's sake. He's a, he is, this is the biggest point of his career. We cannot fucking kneecap his career this quickly. Like, give him a bit before we bury him. <laughs> oh, God. And now, oh my god, oof, the 
Look at this. Oh! Absolutely. Look at this beatdown right now. Bloody hell. Oh, look at Joseph and Madball going back and forth. Twister coming in with that. Curious to see how this is going to go. Oh, got him, got him. And now, look at this. Headbutt. Oh, but Twister dodges it. Twister now back on his feet here. Oh, and he fumbled it. And Twister now going for the face buster. Boom. Nice shot there. All right, bringing Joseph to his feet again. And boom with the code red. One, two, and there's the kick out. Got him fully under control right here. Look at Mad Ball though. Flinging him. Look at that. Go for the pin now. One, two, three. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we're headed to Hall of Glory then. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to go now. See you all later. Uh, I'm getting ready for the big, one of the biggest shows of the year.